Today, we will talk about a debit balance in a margin account. A debit balance in a margin account is the amount of money a brokerage customer owes their broker after borrowing funds to purchase securities on margin. When buying on margin, investors borrow funds from a broker to purchase a greater number of shares. A cash account only allows the investor to spend the cash balance in the account, while a margin account allows borrowing money from the broker. An adjusted debit balance is the amount of money owed to the brokerage firm, minus profits on short sales and balances in a special memorandum account. It helps investors understand how much they would owe the broker in the event of a margin call. Yes, brokers charge interest on the money they lend. It's important to ask about the interest rate and whether it's fixed or variable before starting to buy on margin. A special memorandum account is a brokerage account set up in conjunction with a margin account to hold excess margin and provide a line of credit for future purchases on margin. A margin call occurs when the customer's account falls below the brokerage firm's minimum maintenance requirement. The customer must then deposit additional cash or securities into the account to bring it up to the required level. The best way to avoid a margin call is to keep a significant cash cushion in the margin account and to monitor the account regularly. Another way is to maintain a cash account and not buy on margin. The debit balance in a margin account is the amount of money owed to the broker for securities purchases made on margin. Failing to have a sufficient maintenance margin can result in a margin call. Here are six key takeaways. 1. The debit balance in a margin account is how much a brokerage customer owes their broker for funds they borrowed from the broker to purchase securities. 2. There are two types of trading accounts, a cash account and a margin account. 3. A cash account only uses the cash available to purchase securities, while a margin account can also use money borrowed from the broker for that purpose. 4. Borrowing on margin is also known as being leveraged and can magnify profits or losses. 5. Financial industry rules limit how much money an investor can borrow for any given transaction, initial margin, and also how much equity they must keep in their account at all times, maintenance margin. Dot. 6. Failing to have a sufficient maintenance margin can result in a margin call. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.